This is ABC 15 News taking action. It is a condition holding many back from leading a healthy and active lifestyle. We're talking about body shame and we're talking with an expert about how to identify it. Plus the simple but bold steps you can make to overcome them. Well, it's a vicious cycle. You want to get out there right now, especially with the beautiful weather and get out and exercise and have a healthy lifestyle and really kind of get active, right? To be healthy for you, for your family. But then you're concerned and you're worried about what other people think and what other people might say about you. And that is what we're talking about, body shaming. This terrible trend that is going all across our society right now. And that's why we've got Dr. Juliane here to talk to us about it today. Um, how prevalent is this? I mean, it seems to be all over the place. It is all over the place the place and it really is a paradox because our obesity ec epidemic continues to in about it we have to get out and move be healthy yet body shame stops people it yeah. actually works against us and it perpetuates the cycle it's a huge problem in our country people have always kind of seen what they think people are supposed to look like mm -hmm. the healthy lifestyles from the magazines and those types of things now with social media it's just blown up that much more. You have it constantly in the palm of your hand. The average American woman is five foot four and weighs 166 pounds. The average American model that we see all the time in the magazines and on social media, five foot 10, 107 pounds. There's this huge disparity, yet we look at these magazines and we look at the internet and we compare ourselves negatively to others and it causes body shame. How do you overcome it? What's the answer? How do you get out there and break through that and just say, listen, I'm okay the way that I am. I mean, you can have goals to where you want to get to, Absolutely. but how do you put aside those things that might prevent you from achieving those goals? Well, you're asking two questions. You're asking what do you do to change it within yourself, yeah. and that's a wonderful uh, topic. Um, but I think what you're also asking about is how do you get out and move to get yourself physically and even emotionally healthy through activity yeah. when you feel bad about yourself? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to really share with a trusted friend or family member your feelings feelings of shame. Even though that's vulnerable, um, really shame breeds. It thrives in privacy. And right. so you want to be able to share it so that the only voice you hear is not your own self judgments. You want to learn that other people love you, they accept you for who and how you are, and that's really helpful. The other thing we want to do is we want to ask people to help us to get out and move. So again, a trusted friend. Ask them, will you please take a hike with me in the beautiful desert? Will you walk around my neighborhood? first thing in the morning yeah. and then you can actually graduate to playing frisbee in the park really important um, you also want to find non-traditional gyms to work out in um, even people with you know normal size bodies which it's hard to say what that is right. feel uncomfortable in gyms so you want to find a safe uh, facility we actually have one at a new beginning that's just uh, private and especially to help support people in getting healthy and you have an event coming up right? we do it is just for this uh, purpose it is called a meet and move so we want people that are like-minded like body to get together and move and start challenging their feelings of shame find out they're not alone yeah. find out there's other people that care about them support Support them. Um, so it's wonderful. It's going to be this Saturday, April 2nd. It's going to be, uh, we're going to meet at our studio and you're going to call a new beginning at 480-941-4247 and talk to Jessica. Perfect. We just had that information yeah. up on the screen. Oh. I hope you all caught that. Uh, Dr. Arne, thank you so much. You got to get out and get moving, yeah. right? It's, just... a, it's, it's a really important issue and we have to start talking more about things that we're shameful about so we can change it. All right. Get out there and get moving. Thank Danielle. you.